Now, I am of the opinion that pretty much everybody does New Year's resolutions wrong. Welcome to a <laughs> It's beginning. There's snow in my hair. But it's like they're sunglasses. Not summer glasses. Like, so you got cut it up in small chunks, which means you have to deal with raw chicken, which as we know, is fucking gross. Morning people, starting off a fresh vlog for no other reason really than just to show you what a sick day it is. Check this out. It's frosty man. I don't want to say it's feeling festive but it's definitely feeling wintry. So I think I'm going to go for a morning walk. For some reason I feel like when the weather's like this, I want to be out more. I don't know if it's because like I know the cold's going to like freshen me up and wake me up. But also today's leg day and I generally will do a bit of a walk on the treadmill as like a warm up anyway. So I might as well do that warm up in real, in the real world. <laughs> like I say, no points. this video, is gonna check in sporadically over the next few days. I'll show you some wintery scenes when I go over the park. So apparently it's minus two, it lanes on underneath the joggers. Let's see how cold this is. Yeah, man. That's frosty, that. See what you think of this, right? My mates take the piss sometimes because I'll wear sunglasses in the winter. But it's like they're sunglasses. Not summer glasses. Like it's fucking where's the sun? It's fucking sunny there. And that winter sun is like savage. Big shouts to my girlfriend Abby. Right, I was just walking along, I thought, oh, I'm really glad she bought me these gloves, you know, keep me warm. And I was like, oh, she got me this hat as well, actually. That was a good present. I'd be, I'd be chilly without the hat. And so she, she bought me this hoodie as well, so that's kind of nice. And so she bought me this coat as well, actually. <laughs> Get yourself a girlfriend who's not only sound, but whose love language is gift giving. trying to walk more recently basically I went through a phase over the past few months of just like not walking at all like I used to go out for a walk pretty much every day over the past like two years I just fell out of the habit really but it's not ideal because basically I've been eating like a shitload of food because I've started like bulk up a bit but I feel like the excess of food was too much of an excess given how little activity I was doing obviously I've been going to the gym and stuff but I've not been burning as many calories so it was like I'd put myself in too much of a surplus. So it's getting, it's getting a bit fucking chubby, to be honest, around the around the midriff. Trying to walk, get some steps in, burn some cows. That was a great leg session. So now it's time for a bit of food. The farm just had the kitchen done, so it's looking all fresh apart from that wall, which isn't finished yet, and the cooker needs to clean. But aside from that, it sound got a, an air fryer, game changer, and I'm not gonna use that today. Today we are on Scran Wise chicken with, where is it? Noki and kale. And what I'm also doing is making a sauce out of basically you put some Philly cheese in the pan with the chicken once the chicken's like almost done. Melt that down a bit, bit of water, bit of paprika, bit of pepper, makes like a nice cheese sauce. So if it turns out alright, I'll show you. 
So the worst part about having to do this is that you have to like fry the chicken essentially in a pan. Like so you've got to cut it up in small chunks, which means you have to deal with raw chicken, which as we know is fucking gross. There's a couple of things that I need to do with the rest of the day, none of which are particularly interesting. Mainly just laptop work, I need to sort of like start sorting my tax out. And I also um, need to look into, basically like the band are starting to play live again in the new year, ideally. Uh, so I need to price up a load of like new equipment and stuff. So all that's dead boring and then tonight I'm going to Liverpool to watch a show that I'm starting working on next week. I'm just going to like watch it, see what it's about, learn the shit before I get like thrown in at the deep end. So I can't really film much of that either, so I'll catch you up in the next few days whenever something's happening. Life updates. We've just been to see Peter K. It was sick. Also, other life updates. It's uh, snowing like as fuck. But yeah, been waiting to see Peter K for how long we had them tickets? Like a year. Yeah. Um, and I've been like a huge fan since I was like a child. I saw my mum and dad as well, and they got they were there tonight, and they got to see him. So that was cool. Abby's trying not to crash the car while I'm filming. This is probably very distracting for her. Sorry. Yeah, I hope he releases it as like a DVD as well, because I'd love to watch that again, and I'd also get like to watch it with Josh, because he loves PK. But unfortunately, he lives in Australia now. That's about all for the life updates. Any more life updates? It's fucking oh, cold. It's fucking cold. Got mince pies as well <laughs> for my mum and dad, courtesy of Abby's mum and stepdad. Uh, and we're going to a baby's first birthday party tomorrow. Not just with any baby. The, the baby. The baby. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to dox the baby on YouTube. So, but that's in Blackpool. So might catch up with some illuminations in the morrow. Peace. snow in my hair, on my wig. <laughs> my girlfriend's silly, it's fun. Yo people, a little update, we've come to the cinema, we, because they're showing Home Alone and I've never seen Home Alone, but we have the entire room to ourselves, hopefully, I mean it starts in a minute, I don't suspect anyone's going to pull it. <laughs> it's beginning, so I'll catch up afterwards with Home Alone review. You're the one who said to film. I don't know, that's a good bite. First time watching Home Alone. I like it. It's good fun. Good family fun. I mean, it's a John Hughes film, so I thought I would be sort of into it anyway because I love like Ferris Bueller and but Breakfast Club and stuff like that. It's made me want to watch more films with John Candy and you know John Candy, the big guy who played the the polka guy. Oh yeah. You've seen um, seen Cool Runnings. Years and years ago. You've seen. Uh, oh, you seen Uncle Buck? No. We need to watch Uncle Buck. If you if you like Uncle Buck, you like Uncle Buck. Anyway, uh, yeah, it was sick. It was cool that we had like the whole cinema to ourselves. It was cold though, chilly in there. But yeah, man, good fun. Mm. Okay, updates. First of all, this camera's probably gonna fly about while I'm filming this because it's connected with like the jankiest fucking sat nav holder that you can buy. I can't remember the last time I vlogged was, man. This is just like a generic winter vlog. Just just general winter updates. First of all, it's Christmas next week. 
pretty much got all the presents sorted there and thereabouts I need to nip out later get some cards and then wrap some stuff this afternoon <coughs> I've got a new car oh, fuck about mate people moving mad and um, I've got a new car which is nice not that you'd really realise because I barely filmed in the old car but it's nice to not have a car that is like a total piece of shit this one's actually quite quite decent and it actually wasn't that much money so do you know what I mean? We fucking signed them out already. Um, <laughs> currently on the way to the gym. I know that most people who watch these videos probably don't watch them for the mild and occasional fitness shit. But I'm gonna tell you about it anyway. Um, started like actually tracking my lifts a bit better and I feel like when you actually note down exactly how many like reps and what weights you're doing per you know training day then it just improves your ability to progressively overload because every time I go in the gym now I've got like something to beat like something that I'm aiming for and it's not like I didn't track my or like keep tabs on what weights I was lifting beforehand but now I know like how much I'm actually achieving per session. Feeling somewhat pumped for this session which is going to be a shoulders and lats predominantly session maybe triceps as well. Basically the way my training split is at the minute is I've sort of modified I was, I was doing like five training days. I, th I think I might have mentioned this before, maybe not. I was doing five training days a week, there and thereabouts. And that was split into push, pull, legs, and then upper, lower. The upper, lower is still the same. However, the push, pull, legs has been changed, I'm trying something out, into horizontal, vertical. The theory being that if you do, let's say you do a, a push day and you're working your chest and your shoulders, there's going to be some slight crossover fatigue from your incline bench to your shoulder press, as an example. However, if you split that into horizontal and vertical, that means that your like chest pressing and just general chest exercises is paired with your horizontal back exercises like your row and there's absolutely no crossover fatigue from one to the other which means that by the time you come to hit your shoulders your chest is fucking pretty much recovered that's the theory anyway basically I've seen people do it and wanting to try it out and it's been doing it for like a month or so month or two it seems to be fucking working I'm looking good I think I think I'm definitely looking better see this is the issue with commercial gyms is that they're in commercial places. What the fuck is this woman doing? Just park your car in the middle of the road to get your child out. Sound. Um, they're in commercial places. My gym's on like a retail park, essentially. And while I do think it is a, sh uh, a I almost said a shit gym, and it's not a shit gym. It's actually a pretty sick gym, especially for a commercial gym. It does mean that this time of year, there's fucking nowhere to park because it's just surrounded by shops. Had a little can of monster, a little white monster, for today's session. Not getting that. Um, which is quite unlike me, actually. I am usually caffeine free these days. However, I do allow myself the occasional iced coffee or white monster when I'm feeling particularly tired, which has been the situation the past few days. Obviously, like I say, we're leading up to Christmas. I'm working 12 hour shifts. Shit's not ideal, but I'm ready to go. Today is, like I say, shoulders and lats. So that's my vertical day. Shoulder pressing, um, lateral raise lat pull down and sort of lat pro type movement for the goals and then like I say 
depending on what time it is, might tag some triceps onto the end of that. Although, I, looking at myself, I think my triceps are probably ahead of my biceps, so maybe I'll squeeze out a few sets of bicep curls. Um, but they'll already be pretty fatigued from my pulling exercises, I would imagine. But yeah, feeling good-ish. Feeling mentally good, physically drained, but um, ready for the lift. I had my monster, done my stretching at home, as is customary. Had a protein bar, had my protein Weetabix, drank my protein water, been breathing in my protein air, uh, and um, ready to get big or mildly less not big mildly less skinny shall we say catch up after the session to let you know how i'm feeling and how it went okay so this is post lift i'd say it was a pretty good session did the four main exercises i was talking about actually filmed a little bit as well which i've never done before in, not, in a, not in a UK gym anyway. Um, what the fuck's going on here? It's got me thinking. I do kind of want to talk about like the fit, like the fitness um, journey a bit more on this channel because it's part of the just general journey of my life, you know. And that's what this channel is about. What's this guy doing? Um, just documenting a regular guy trying to have a decent life so I'm making some gains in the gym is just as much a part of what I'm doing in life as just making general life gains in terms of experience and position in life shall we say but yeah filmed a couple of sets as you can see started off with the lat pull down actually used this sort of narrower grip for the first time um really like it i don't think i'm gonna use it all the time probably chop and change between that and the sort of wide bar grip um but i think with the narrow grip i was getting like more of a squeeze or a stretch, should I say, on the sort of uh, top of the rep, which felt good. Felt like I was engaging the lats a bit more, I suppose. Um, then shoulder press, nothing too special here. Actually, managed to get sort of 10 reps out on this set, um, which is the most I've been able to get out at that weight, 20 a side. So I uh, did go up a little bit after that in terms of weight um, and then progressively sort of lowered the reps slightly just because I was getting fatigued as I was going along so I was sort of getting within one or two reps of failure um, and then yeah I didn't really didn't film my I don't know if you could call it like a lap pullover or a lap prayer I guess it's a lap prayer but like standing instead of kneeling not so much praying then I guess but um, I was sound Went up a weight on that, and then also went up a weight on my machine lateral raise. Is this gonna, is the camera gonna go? A little bit. All in all, not a bad session. Didn't tag any arms onto the end of it. I was actually debating doing an ab session at the end, just because I don't really train abs anywhere near enough. And I'm starting to train them more, just because especially while I'm quote unquote bulking, I tend to find that I do carry my fat sort of around the sort of bottom of my back and around my stomach a little bit. So just want to keep the uh, well, sort of grow the abs as much as possible because then I guess you can look, you can see them more without being so lean. And I've never really had particularly prominent abs anyway. Um, fucking hell, mate! This is going to be chaos. I'm going to Tesco to get like. Uh, I need to get some food for me and Abby to cook on Boxing Day. Some food for the next few days for me, and also Christmas cards. But fuck me, this is this is rammed, man. I 
and maybe shouldn't have done this, but oh well, we're fucking here now. I was just saying, oh yeah, abs. Trying to hit abs more often, decided not to do that either, just because I'm sort of short on time, because I didn't get up till late today, on account of being knackered. I think what I'm gonna do is do a ab session at home tomorrow morning before work. Um, that's the beauty of abs, you can just sort of lay down a mat, or even just a fucking duvet. Anything padded, just do them in your house. So I'm gonna do a little ab session tomorrow morning. And then, so tomorrow's Saturday. Sunday is Christmas Eve. Probably gonna try and get in the gym. I know they close early. Um, so I'll try and get in, in there pretty early on in the morning. And then that'll be it for a few days over Christmas in terms of fitness. But I'll still probably film bits and bobs over Christmas. I would imagine. I'm actually quite just enjoying talking to the camera again. So maybe sometimes when I'm in a car, you know, it takes me like half an hour, 45 minutes to get to work. Maybe sometimes I'll just set up a little camera, chat to you guys, maybe make it its own video, maybe include it in a vlog. Who knows? This is fucking. Tesco's gridlocked, boys. Wish me luck. I will. See you on the other side. Peace. Also, just a little sort of caveat to anything that I say in any of my videos, but especially when I'm talking about like gym stuff, is I don't fucking know what I'm doing. It's like, I'm just trying to get by. And like I said before, just a, a regular guy trying to have a good life and documenting it. I'm not trying to give you advice or fitness, spe specifically fitness advice because I mean, fucking look at me, like, I'm not, I'm not in, like, amazing shape or anything, um, I'm just a guy that's trying to be, <coughs> so, with that, I will say, if anybody has, like, comments regarding, maybe things that I could do to improve, things that I'm saying wrong, then, uh, please do, like, comment, and we'll start a little conversation, have a little community, because that's the goal, really, isn't it, so that we can all, like, learn and grow together as we go along through life yeah yo people i'm gonna keep this clip fairly short and sweet because to be quite honest i'm coming down somewhat i'm not great christmas was nice pleasant decent um it's currently the 28th which is why I wanted to take some time to close off the video talking about New Year's and New Year's resolutions. Now, I am of the opinion that pretty much everybody does New Year's resolutions wrong. Obviously, New Year is a time for reflection and it's all this like reset that happens once a year where people see it as an opportunity to, uh, I don't know, like just change their life up a bit, like achieve things that maybe they've not achieved before, put in place new habits that are supposedly going to make their lives better. And there's nothing really wrong with any of that. I think it's more the approach that people take that is the issue. You know, whether it's a goal like wanting to lose weight or exercise more or put in place new habits like reading or meditation or even just stuff like you want to be a better person, a nicer person. You want to spend more time with these people. You want to travel more, What, whatever it is. I think people sort of go in with this sense of motivation um, and they charge at it head on. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I just think maybe they don't think it through as much. It's this, this sort of spur of the moment motivation of it's new year. I'm going to fucking do this like, January 1st, that's my time. Like January 1st is going to come around. I'm going to rush at it head first. I'm going to change my life like that. And um, as I'm sure you can understand when you really think about it, that that is not the way it goes. You know, the, the gym's a good example because you see that like boom in January of this, like, this influx of people starting the gym. <coughs> and then a few weeks later, you know, that sort of number's halved. And then by the time you get to March, there's only the the few determined stragglers left. And I think maybe that's because people sort of don't calculate their approach enough to these sorts of things. Like, yeah, it's all good to have that sort of motivation 
for change and to put in place a new habit or whatever. But motivation is fleeting. And when it comes to building habits, I think you can't really rely on your motivation to carry you through much in the same that you can't really rely on willpower. A lot of the time, these things are a fleeting um, aspects of life that will deteriorate if you're fucking tired or hungover or just generally fed up in any way, shape or form. So what's the appropriate approach to a new year's resolution i can't really say with certainty but i think it's more to do with being realistic about what you can actually achieve or also being realistic and honest with yourself about the fact that sometimes that initial spark and that initial motivation is going to deteriorate but putting habits into place is about doing something habitually you know it becomes a part of your life so that you don't question it you know like you don't question brushing your teeth you just do it every day you know you didn't have to think about that anymore or you don't have to think about that anymore because when you were a kid you got into the habit of doing it right so I think if you're trying to do something as a new year's resolution you need to be honest with yourself that you know a it's going to take time B, there's going to be periods where maybe you don't really agree with your past self in terms of like you now thinks that this thing that you're trying to do, this New Year's resolution is a good idea and it's going to make your life better. But there's going to be times in the future along the journey of trying to actually put that into place where you think, why am I even doing this? Like, what the fuck was I thinking about? Like, this isn't making my life better at all. This is actually, you know, becoming a a hindrance. And I guess, you know, you have to be able to make that judgment and trust yourself because there's a good chance that when you're not motivated, you might say to yourself, oh, fuck, like this habit that I'm trying to put in place isn't doing me any good. It's just making my life a hindrance. But you need to be able to determine whether that's true, whether you're being honest with yourself there or whether you're just saying that to yourself because you can't be asked. I also just think that the whole waiting till January 1st thing, I don't know, man, I don't really agree with it. Like, just start now. You can start at any point. And also, I think if, you, if you're like, okay, this is my New Year's resolution, start in January 1st, and then you don't achieve it, there's a tendency for people to just go, oh, well, fuck it, I'll try again next year. It's like, motherfucker, that's 365 days. You know what I mean? If you get to February and you've you've fallen out of this habit that you're trying to implement or you've, you're not, you know, far along the path that you're trying to be, going, oh, well, actually, I kind of fucked it. I'll just do it next year. That's ridiculous. You know what I mean? This is what I'm saying about being realistic and being honest with yourself because you need to realise that sometimes it's not going to be working out, right? So... You know, I keep using the gym as an example, but I just think it is a a very apt example for something like this because it's something that maybe a lot of people can relate to. Let's say you start the gym, January 1st is your time, and then, (coughs) you know, maybe you go in four or five times a week. No, let's let's, let's, let's go less than that, right? Let's say you go in like three times a week, right? And then by February, that's like twice a week and then maybe you know like you go on holiday or you're a bit ill or you know you're busy with work or something and then you you have a week or two where you don't go for a bit a lot of people will take that week or two and just be like oh well I guess I don't go to the gym anymore you know what I mean and obviously that's not a conscious thing that they'll think but they'll just fall out of the habit and that'll be it right but you have to realize that that's just part of the the ups and downs, the peaks and troughs, the ebbs and flows of life, you know, not to get too uh, pseudo-philosophical on your ass. But it is, you know, like, I've spoken about it in videos before, sometimes shit just gets in the way, but you have to be able to know that you can get back on the horse at any point, and that is your decision. So I think if, if, you know, just to sort of tie this off, because like I say, I'm trying to keep this quick because I've got a sore throat, man. It's not it's not necessarily a joy to be talking right now. Um, <clears throat> if you are thinking of implementing some sort of New Year's resolution, maybe just, you know, 
dampen your hype a little bit, right? And that's not that's not me trying to put a downer on the situation, but what I mean by that is don't be this like I'm gonna rip the band-aid off, motherfucker. Like this is my time, you know, because that doesn't last, right? Like you can be motivated to do something for a day, a week, like, but you're not gonna be consistently motivate motivated throughout your life. Like because shit gets in the way or like your mood changes. Like really motivation is just a it's a mood, it's an emotion, just like sort of tiredness or hunger in in a lot of respects. Um so you can't rely on that. So you need to take a calculated approach if you want to actually put change into place. And also you need to remember why you're doing whatever it is that you're saying you're going to do, right? Because if it gets a few months down the line and you've fucked off whatever goals you've been trying to achieve or whatever habits you've been trying to implement, you need to be able to look back and and remember why you wanted that in the first place. You know, you need to look back at December 2023, you, and be like, okay, well, that guy or gal wanted to do this because of X, Y, and Z. And those reasons are valid. And I need to remember that if I do this, I will get to this end place, you know, that I want to achieve. I just have to actually do the thing, you know. So just be self-aware and uh, don't rely too much on the spur of the moment motivation. Be calculated with your approach. Don't be too hard on yourself, but also not too soft on yourself. That's that's the that's the tread. That's not the treadmill. That's the uh, the tightrope of life that you have to walk, right, is you've got to be able to hold yourself accountable, but also not beat yourself up, because you beat yourself up, you're never going to fucking achieve anything, and if you don't hold yourself accountable, equally the same, you know, maybe get an accountable buddy, you know, get someone who's going to hold you accountable, and you say you're going to hold them accountable for something as well, but yeah, enjoy the uh the new year i don't know when this video is going to come out this might come out after new year but either way this has been a month of my life in several clips hopefully i will see you in the new year want to make some cool videos about the journey that i'm gonna be going on not to like over dramatize it but by calling it a journey but basically i'm making a career change man And it's going to be a potentially stressful and interesting one. So I'll probably make a video a month if we're lucky. Either way, if you're new, you've enjoyed seeing my face, do subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you in 2024. Peace.